Good evening and thanks for joining us. We're live at five with new developments in a big story that we've been following for you out of Transylvania County. Hi, I'm now, Diane Lee, the 6 p.m. weekday co-anchor for WSPA TV. I've been behind the desk for more than a decade. Buildings. In some cases, it was one of the worst kinds of mold. We looked into what the county is doing about it. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Tonight we're staying on top of a developing story for you. Authorities are still searching for an armed and dangerous suspect in Transylvania County. Aspiring police officers in South Carolina will soon have to undergo a psych evaluation. The board overseeing the state's Criminal Justice Academy voted unanimously to mandate the screening. It's aimed at weeding out unsuitable candidates and legislators provided more than half a million dollars for the tests. Agencies will be reimbursed up to $300 per Per screening. New video just into our newsroom tonight showing the moments deputies made a shocking discovery. And tonight, newly released 911 calls are giving us a better idea of the motive behind these crimes. Tonight, 7 News reporter Katie Salt is in the studio with more on these recordings and what they reveal. Katie? Katie, fill us in a little bit more on the timeline here because you've had access to a number of 911 calls. How early were the first ones before the murder? All eyes are on Capitol Hill tonight. Senate leaders say they're ready to schedule a vote once and for all. 7 News national correspondent Mark Meredith is at the White House with more. The North Carolina pastor who spent the past few weeks walking to Washington, D.C. is expected to arrive in the Capitol today. Christy, looking at your forecast, this is the time of year when you just have to check the radar. I didn't do it yesterday, brought the kids to the pool and then thunder. Next on 7 News Live at 5, national transportation officials are going after airlines for dropping the ball on customer service. Hear how straight ahead. And then for 7 News at 6, doing your civic duty or walking straight into a scam. The signs that you need to look for before you start filling out a census survey. 7 News anchor Diane The big stories bring me out into the field, and prompter or not, viewers can depend on my delivery. It was quite something, Gordon. 2,500 people all came together on this mountain to share in really a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You guys have been saying that, and I completely agree after seeing it today. And Amy, I know you were talking at the beginning of the show about the number of people who came from all over. The Roper Mountain Science Museum formed this map to show all the people from different states in America, but check this out. As we follow the map down here, you can see a lot of folks from South America, and then over here, a ton of folks from Europe. And then we go over here, you've got India, you have one from Africa, and you have one from Australia. And then check all the way down here in Antarctica. There's one over here and one over here. So you had people from 29 different countries all come together to, uh, to again, share in this experience right here at the Roper Mountain Science Center. This building has been plagued by a mold problem that has already cost the county upwards of $800,000. And there's another round of cleanup that begins on Friday. Safety, also a really big concern here with inmates and judges and the public all walking through the same halls. What the penny sales tax referendum would do is it would help raise the funds to replace the courthouse as well as other aging government buildings in the area like the county administration building and city hall. It does have bipartisan support mainly because of what could happen if this doesn't pass. Good for him. That's terrific. Well, that's a nice note to end on and thanks for joining us. See you back back here, behind the desk, I aim for a style that's relatable by just trying to be myself. So do you feel like the roads of South Carolina are full of rude drivers? If so, you are not alone. Yeah, the Palmetto State has the second rudest drivers in the country, according to a survey by Cars for Kids. The online survey asked drivers questions about their driving habits, like how often do you signal or how do you react to a situation with another driver? Those results were then graded and ranked against other states. New York, go figure, that was the rudest. And South Carolina came in number two. Who would have thought? If you want to take the survey, by the way, and see how you rank, you can find the link right on WSBA.com. I take it and dare I admit, Tom, <laughs> I'm a multitasker. The advice was yeah. listen to soothing music in the car. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm so surprised that South Carolina ranks so highly because generally Southern people, and I'm a native Southerner, of course, uh, are, are such a kind and considerate yeah. and polite and, and I'm not I'm I'm gonna admit I'm from New York so I was very surprised to hear this and I have found South Carolina drivers to be wonderful and letting me get in the lane and things like that and waving and <laughs> I mean I, I don't think the survey really yeah. accurately depicts yeah. South Carolina drivers but maybe that's because of my perspective the survey said I was human well you are human pretty good they said. much better than multitasker <laughs> yeah I, I love so. it oh.